I remember practicing, actually, and my father listening on the sofa. I think it was just a simple, slow Scarlatti sonata. And then I stopped, and my father was listening. He sort of had tears in his eyes. And that was the moment I thought, wow, there's something very powerful about what's going on. It's the ability to move somebody through sound. And, and even my father, who is not a musician, felt that. And at that moment, you realize you have a big responsibility here. And it's something that's gratifying because somebody is receiving what you've been working so hard to do. It's one instrument, you know, one person. It, it's kind of incredible, the energy that, that empower a solo piano recital has. It can be percussive, it can be sustained, like strings. It's the only instrument in which you can truly be your own orchestra. At the San Francisco Conservatory, I just reached my 10-year milestone. But I've been teaching, I would say, professionally about 20 years now. My first early teacher gave me a student. I don't know what she was thinking. And she said, OK, now you are responsible for this person. What do you think, Jaya? Do you have any issues with this moment? Because I think it's ready. But I was hooked immediately, because when I, when I realized, oh, this person is actually understanding what I'm saying, they're getting better. It's incredibly gratifying. It's just something that I didn't know I loved as much as I do, until I actually did it as much as I do. We strive to spark something inside of each individual, and each individual has a different catalyst. And once you can light that, and once that fire starts burning and the, the eyes start sparkling, then you know you've done something good. Well, the San Francisco Conservatory of Music is really unique in its personality. We have a relatively small number of faculty, small number of students, and I think the environment really encourages collaboration. And you can play with each other. You can walk down the hall. If you're a pianist, you can knock on the door of your string player friend and say, hey, let's play chamber music, and it'll happen. Performing is the culmination of all the blood, sweat, and tears. I look at myself as an interpreter, somebody who is there as a medium through which the composers come to life. And it's our job to translate properly and, and to give some of ourselves, of course. But it's really giving back. It comes from feeling a sense of freedom. You're no longer thinking about what's coming next or what just happened. When you can feel like that, that sense of freedom, it, it almost feels like you're flying. This is just a very euphoric feeling. People are, are musicians inside. I really believe that. Some can sing, some might just bang on a table, but the musician is there. We just have to find our outlet for it.